Hey, Bruce Naylor here, your Boomer Consumer. And I put together some items that I think would make excellent gifts for the vinyl collector in your life. Now, some of these are as, you know, less than 15 bucks. So there's a little something for everybody, but here's the thing. Each and every item that I'm gonna show you is something I personally bought. Uh, it's not sponsored. I've been using these items for about a year now. And I think there'll be a little something here for everyone that's interested in vinyl records. So without further ado, let's get started on the list. Okay, the first thing on my list, how about a new turntable? Now I've been using this Fluence RT85 for about a year now, and I'm very, very impressed with what you get. These sell for $500, and Fluence actually has six different uh, turntables. The model 80 and 81, then the 82, 83, 84, and 85, I believe the 80 and 81 comes with a built-in phono preamplifier. We'll talk about those in a, in a few minutes. These don't, but what you are getting at the, with the top of the line, this is the 85, is you're getting an acrylic platter, which is just stunning to look at. But you're also getting the Ortofon 2M Blue cartridge, which is a fantastic sounding cartridge. It's a moving magnet cartridge does take a little bit of time for it to break in, but the sound quality is excellent, and I think it's a very forgiving cartridge. Of course, you get a nice dust cover. These are available in walnut, a bamboo, I believe, and then a black and white finish. And I happen to choose the walnut. I think it's a gorgeous finish. The, the 80 and the 81 have built-in frontal preamps, and then the 82 on up, uh, the differences become you get more traditional style platters and different cartridges. As you work your way up, you get a little bit better cartridges, etc. Uh, the tone arm S shape on a gimbal, it's a very, very nice turntable. These are very popular and highly recommended. The second thing on the list, if you don't have a phono preamp, right, you want to use your turntable with powered speakers or an amplifier that doesn't have a phono input, then you'll need one of these. Now this one's a little different because it is a tube-based uh, phono preamplifier with three different gain settings, uh, either 39 dB, 42, or 45 dB again. This is meant for what's called a moving magnet cartridge, not a moving coil, but moving magnet. The idea behind the tubes is it gives that more classic warm sound that I think it's a little bit more vintage sounding than a solid state phono preamp. And these sell for $63 as of the date of this recording, but you can figure somewhere between $60 and $70 for one of these. And what else is fun about one of these is a thing called tube rolling. Now these come with the, I think the six J1 tubes, and you can get different replacement tubes that will change the sound. It's kind of a fun hobby, and as you get into collecting vinyl and playing records, you may want to change the tone, the sound, the warmth of your record player, your turntable, with one of these by changing out the tubes. So for $69, uh, I think it's over $63, whatever the price is, I think it's a very good value. Now the third thing on my list is a, it's called a tracking scale. And a cartridge on a turntable generally will have some type of recommended weight that it applies downward force to the stylus on the record. And you want to make sure you get that set at the manufacturer's recommended setting. And the best way to do that is one of these little scales. Now this is from a company called Musu, and it sells for $14. And it comes with a little case, and it also comes with a little test weight. I think this weighs five grams. So let's start it up. And then put the weight on there, and it should read five grams. There we go, 5.01. And that will help make sure that you have a very accurate reading on your tracking force, your downward tracking force of your cartridge, and save wear and tear on your stylus and your precious records. One of the things you're going to want to do is routinely clean your records. And when I get records, I use the spin clean 
record cleaning system. Let's talk about this for just a moment. Now these sell for $79, $80, and you get a kit that comes with the spin clean. There's two brushes that sit down inside. You fill it with distilled water, and it also ships with the spin clean fluid. Now this little bottle, uh, basically I think you can, it should clean up to about 50 records. You add three cap, uh, caps full of solution to the water. And I would say that's about accurate. I tend to clean maybe 10 records at a time or so before I drain and replace the water. It is a manual process. And you have these little foam brushes and I also rinse these out when I'm done. It does a very good job cleaning records. You'd be surprised when you get a used record, you know, you get some clicks and pops and that kind of thing. Uh, you'd be surprised how much this will improve the sound, but it is a manual process. There are much more expensive ways to go, but I recommend this if you're getting started and before you would go out and spend hundreds or even thousands of dollars on a uh, much uh, more expensive record cleaning machine, this will do the job. Just like I said, it's a manual process. Take your time, but it's all part of the fun of collecting records. And it also, the kit also comes with some of these towels. I actually ordered additional towels because uh, they're very nice and very soft and very gentle and good for drying the records, etc. So that is the spin clean. And I think it's well worth the $80 investment. Back in the 70s when I started buying my records, I was looking for a way to clean them. And a lot of places sold a device called the disc washer. And essentially it's a, a walnut brush with a nice kind of textured cloth on there. And then it'd have a bottle that would fit in there of cleaning solution. And that's how you clean your records. Well, today, the closest facsimile really is the groove washer. These are well made and I think these sell for around $38. And it comes with this bottle of record cleaner. And that's nice for a touch up cleaning, etc. Now, this pad is attached very securely via a very tough Velcro, but you can pull this off and then put that in the washing machine and clean that from time to time. But a nice walnut handle, it's very nice. You just spray a little bit of cleaning solution on there and as the record rotates, just kind of do a sweeping motion. And it's, like I said, it's nice for a touch-up cleaning scenario. And of course, you get this bottle of the G2 Groove Washer solution as part of the kit. So I like it. I use it all the time. Another accessory that I think is very important is an anti-static brush. If very minimum when you take a record, even a clean record, out of this jacket and put it on your turntable. You want to give it a nice brush with this anastatic brush. This is uh, from a company called Boundless Audio and it sells for like $16. And as the record spins, you just simply take it from the center, pull it across the record very gently, and then when you're done, just rotate it to clean it and put it away and you're done. This is something every record collector should have is one of these anti-static brushes. Now the next product, um, actually there's some controversy with this, but I'm still going to recommend it. And this is the Anzao Stylus Cleaner. And the reason there's a little bit of controversy about it, they use a what's called a gelatinous uh, cleaning system on there. And essentially, you simply lower the stylus down onto this kind of a sticky substance and it will remove the dirt from your stylus. It's a very simple and elegant way of doing it. It also comes with this little magnifying type glass that you can look at the stylus. The controversy seems to be around whether or not the Anzal leaves any type of residue on the stylus. And uh, I'm just going to put it this way. I've been using it for a little over a year now. And I've seen no problems whatsoever. Most people seem to have no problems with it. It's an elegant way to do it. They're washable. So once it gets a little bit of dirt in there, you can just wash it under hot soapy water, dry it off, and keep using it. So it really is a like a once-in-a-lifetime purchase. But um, 
I happen to like it. I think it does a great job. It keeps my stylus nice and clean. I've not noticed any residue, but again, I don't have a powerful microscope looking at that stylus, but I do use the magnifying glass. So far, so good. I recommend it. Uh, I think they sell for around $40, but um, check it out, the Onzo, Onzo Stylus Cleaning System. Okay, the next thing I'm going to recommend is what's called a record weight stabilizer. Here's the idea. These have some weight to them. You see there's a nice felt padding on here. This is all aluminum. And this sits down on top of the uh, your turntable and your platter and basically clamps down on that record. So if there's a slight warp, it will help deal with that. Maybe it makes the record sound better. Maybe it makes no improvement whatsoever. But I do have several used records that have a slight warp to them. And I notice it does help. And it helps keep that, that tone arm from going to this number. And I think it kind of looks cool. It's come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. I've got a link to, uh, to this particular model down below. This one weighs about 304 grams. So it's just about the right weight. And also this one is more of a short uh, stature because some of the taller ones may prevent your desk cover from closing. So I, I tend to like the shorter ones. And I think it just really adds to the look of your turntable as that record's turning. Sometimes the light will catch real pretty on there. Just a cool accessory. These sell for about $25. I actually own two, one for each turntable that I have. Now the next two items I'm going to show you are critical to the investment in your record collection. And one is a inner sleeve protector and the other is an outer sleeve. These happen to be from a company called Big Fudge. And this is kind of a rice paper protector. And so this helps eliminate static. So when you buy records, new records or your used records, they come in like a paper sleeve and that just screams to collect a static electricity, which in turn collects dust. So you want to put your records in one of these and get rid of that paper sleeve. But you also want to protect your album cover and these big fudge uh, protectors here. This is made out of a, like a vinyl polyethylene uh, polymer type of material will protect the record jacket, help keeping it pristine and possibly save you know, wear and tear on the album itself. So you really do need these kind of items. I think these sell for around $19 for a pack of 50 inner sleeves and the same for your outer sleeves. Highly, highly recommend that you use something like this to protect your records and your album, especially the artwork going forward. And the final thing, you want to store your records. And I bought the Soundstash Bamboo Record Crate. And it looks beautiful. They say it holds up to 80 records. Well, they would have to be very thin, single jacket. Uh, <laughs> I know about 50 is more realistic for this thing, but it really looks great. The only advice I can give you on this is when you put it together, be careful not to put too much pressure as you're screwing in some of the screws because you might do a possible split of the wood. But uh, it's very good looking and it does a great job holding records. And um, I highly recommend that you take a look at one of these crates and it sells for around $45 for it. So uh, just a great way to store records and it looks good. So there you have it. This is my list again. These are things that I use all the time. Hopefully you find something that uh, might make a good gift for somebody going forward. That's it. Thanks so much for watching this video. Bruce Naylor, your boomer consumer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.